While the average vehicle is designed to operate on ordinary fuel you can buy at the gas station, Supercross bikes are very different. VP Fuels has developed some extraordinary blends you can simply pour in the bike to enhance its performance. All the money that the race team spends designing and work that we do to improve our bikes, you know, you don't want to take a chance on pump gas. VP Race Fuel is that horse and a half better than 91 octane. It's something that you can put in and it makes power instantly. 80% of the Supercross riders are using VP Fuels. VP offers 80 different blends of performance race fuel. When you pull up to the pump, you see an 87, an 89, or a 91 octane. Race gas is generally higher octane. Most people think higher octane makes more power and is better, but that's not the case. Each application is different and requires a different octane. If you think about standard pump gas, you know, there's a winter blend, there's a summer blend. Those are things they do for cars, but they're not really good for racing situations. For the stability of the fuel, when we get a VP drum of fuel and you open it up, it's the same as it was from the winter to the summer. So really the power gain is obviously a special blend. It's a very light fuel, it burns quickly. That's part of why you get such a performance gain out of it. You can't have it too light because whenever it's too light during the hot summer months, that fuel could start boiling. Supercross checks the fuel at every round to make sure it is legal. It's normally done post-race. We have our own lab to conduct our own testing to make sure our, all of our fuels meet the specifications they're supposed to. If there's any doubt, we do send it to a third-party lab. And over the years, they've changed oxygen rules, they've changed a lead rule, they've changed different things, and we've built fuels around those. So a lot of the things that we learn developing different fuels for the pros also trickles down into the amateur, into your everyday riders. 